man, I tell you, I love this new trim shapes tool or the new cut tool uh, coming from Vetrix software uh, to light burn. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, here is another use case, uh, Christmas ornaments and what you can do with those. So we're going to be making a circle uh, for an ornament. Hold down shift and that'll give you a perfect circle. Uh, lock your aspect and I want my width to be, uh, or as I want this to be a four inch ornament. Uh, let's, let's get in here. So offset, I want a inward offset of a quarter inch, 0.25. Okay. And now I want some text. Uh, Amarillo is a really good text. A W E S O M E because of how friggin' awesome this tool is. There you go. Uh, get this centered. And I want to do something like that. I like that. And then I'm going to offset this text uh, outwards. And just enough. I think that looks good. Okay. And so now I want, uh, let's color this red and then hide the red. So now I want uh, the outside of this inside ring, or I want the inside ring and then the top part of the letters and then the bottom part of the letters and the bottom part of the ring to stay. I want everything in between to, to get out of there. So use my snipper and just start cutting away at this. Don't want that, don't want this, and don't want that. Same thing over here, don't want the top, don't want the side, don't want this bottom piece. And then this little guy out here, get rid of him too. Now go ahead and show the awesome again. There you have it. So we have a cut, uh, black, red is going to be our fill. Let's see what this is going to look like. Totally awesome. Another thing you can do with this is take this uh, red. Oops, I, I just cut it. Control Z to undo. <laughs> uh, so we can select uh, the awesome Control D is going to duplicate. Take that awesome and black, cut it out. And then once uh, you engrave, the awesome on the ornament and you cut out the awesome uh, with something thinner than the actual uh, ornament itself. You know, if you're doing quarter inch plywood, you take uh, one eighth inch plywood or one eighth inch hardboard, cut that out and you can set that inside of the, uh, uh, the engraved awesome. So you, so it has a place to rest, but that awesome is also sticking out just a little bit. So it uh, looks really cool. Anyway, just some ideas of uh, ways that you can utilize this new cut tool. I freaking love it. I've been waiting for this to come to Lightburn because uh, uh, I've been doing all my editing in uh, Aspire. So anyway, hey, thanks for checking this out. If you got any useful information out of this, uh, give me a like, uh, subscribe if you want more content like this. I really appreciate it.